Here we're going to find the sine, cosine, tangent, cosecant, secant, and cotangent of theta. Given that theta is an angle in standard position and the given point is on the terminal side of theta. So in this example we're going to use negative 1, comma, negative 2. Our x value will be negative 1. Our y value is negative 2. To get our r value we'll use that r squared equals x squared plus y squared. Well, this will give us 1 plus 4, which will be 5. And if we take the square root of both sides, keeping the positive solution, we'll get that r equals the square root of 5. So let's see, sine of theta, cosine of theta, tangent of theta. We can just simply use our formulas. Sine of theta is y divided by r. Again, y is negative 2, r is the square root of 5. And if we multiply the numerator and denominator by square root of 5, we'll get negative 2 times the square root of 5 divided by 5. Cosine of theta is going to be x divided by r. So again, x in this case is negative 1, r is the square root of 5. Multiply numerator and denominator by the square root of 5, we'll get negative square root of 5 divided by 5. Tangent is y divided by x. The y value was negative 2. The x value is negative 1. So that'll leave us with positive 2. And now to get the other 3, I'm just going to use reciprocals. So cosecant of theta, that's 1 over sine theta. And I use the value before we, we rationalize. I just flip that. I'll get the square root of 5 over negative 2. I'm going to put the negative out front. And the reason I use it uh, before we rationalize, because if I use the other form, I'm going to actually end up making a radical appear in the denominator, and then we'll have to rationalize all over. So to me, it's easier to do it this way. Secant of theta, well, that's 1 over cosine theta. Again, cosine of theta was negative 1 over root 5. If we take the reciprocal, we'll just simply get negative root 5. And last but not least, cotangent of theta. Hey, that's 1 over tangent of theta. Well, we had a positive 2 or 2 over 1. If we take the reciprocal of that, we'll simply get 1 half. And We've now got all six of our values. So again, I always just find sine, cosine, tangent, and then I just take the reciprocals of those to get the other three.